Welcome, Rob Bush. Thanks, Mavo. Are you going to the footy of the Savo or are you just going to watch on telly? Or? No, I watch at home on telly. I've uh, got the, the young fella in here with me uh, today and my uh, my younger brother. It's his first time uh, here at Redfern watching a, a game oh, really? live. Yeah, cool. Down from Brizzy. What's so, his name? Chris. Okay. Yeah, they're going for a walk around the Oval here. Don't know where they are. They're somewhere. Oh, I think right they're about on. to do another lap. Now we're going to go to the Savo. Look, hopefully, okay. We've got to turn it around at some point. Um, so we've, we've just got to get everything uh, in, in line with some of those fundamentals. I think at times we're, we're probably trying a bit too hard, overthinking a few things. Uh, we know what works. We, we had that going for the first half of last year, and for whatever reason it, it changed. But, mm. look, we've got to turn it around at some point. Today seems as good a day to me as any to yeah. turn it around. And I know you're, you're a big supporter of all the pathways. I know you're not, only, you're not only a mad rabbit, eh, but you're, you're here watching SG Ball and Flag. And, Absolutely. You know, right. So it's... Uh, it's not all just about the first grade, is it? No, it's not all about the first grade. It's about the the, the, uh, the, the pathways. The junior guys here with the SG Ball, uh, the seniors with the flag that played earlier on today, uh, obviously right through the New South Wales Cup, the great year that we had last year with those guys, mm. winning the Premiership and the, the National State Championship. So, yeah, look, overall, I mean, most people think it's all about the first grade. That's where it all culminates, obviously. But, yeah, look, from my point of view, love seeing who's coming through the grades, yeah. uh, some of the, 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 uh, the talent we've got there, yeah. uh, and, and what's ahead. So the New South Wales Cup, I mean, we're just saying on the call before that it's only on New South Wales Rugby League TV, but I am a subscriber because I want to watch that game and I'm not Absolutely. going there today. So that'll be interesting because, you know, they had a good win and there's if the first grade keep getting defeated, then some of those guys are going to be knocking on the door to get promoted. Absolutely. We've got some really good talent there coming through that new, in the New South Wales Cup. We saw that last year. Uh, I thought we were a bit unlucky to lose to Blacktown in round one up there at, at, at Brookie. Mm. Uh, obviously had the bye round to bounce back last week for a superb win against the Chooks. So, you know, today it's not just an important game in my opinion for first grade, but obviously Flegg, we, we were unlucky today, uh, resoundingly beaten. But New South, New South Wales Cup, we've got to get, keep the momentum going from last week uh, and, and get the win today against the Dogs. What do you think of young Joy Gray? Love him. Great young player. Mm. Um, you know, obviously there's two schools, two, two schools of thought there, Mavo, around whether or not we bring him in now or whether or not we, we give him a bit of time. I tend to think give him a bit of time. We don't want to burn him too early. Um, yeah. You know, we've got some good senior guys there. Give him the, the, the pathway through and see how he goes. I love him. I think he's a great, great young player for us. Well, so do I. And I've been watching him for a couple of years since he came to the club. And yep. there, there is those two schools of thought. And, and But there's a lot of people think he is ready. Now, I, I actually spoke to JD about this a couple of times. Yeah. And in the presser yesterday, he said he feels like he's got a duty of care and he's only a young bloke. I saw those he, comments. He said, I'm, he said he's only 19, but he was corrected because a few people looked and he's turned 20. Yep. Now, these days, if you're a 20-year-old, I mean, that's, he, he's a young man. And if he keeps doing what he's doing, I think he's going to force JD's hand because he is that good. Good point. I, I, I sort of err on the side of, look, he's, he's already carving up against the men. I see him as a future in their halves at the club. You yep. know, fullback might not be his, his go, even though he's playing well there. He, he's great in attack. He's got a good kicking game. He's a good defender. He's got all the skills. Yep. And every time he runs the ball... He looks like he's going to make half a break. And yep. that's the guy you want with the ball in his hands more than anyone else. Absolutely. Well said. And you know better than yourself, right? You played first grade. You've been there. Uh, you've done it all for us in the sense that uh, it's the old saying, if you're good enough, you're old enough. Yes, that's um, right. So, you know. Well, I actually thought that. Well, I, I made my debut at this very ground when I was 19. There you so, go. And I know times have changed, but I mean, you know, sometimes if, you, if you're ready, you're ready. Absolutely. And if they keep... You know, if they go 0 and 4 today and the, the, the calls are going to be even louder, but I can understand what JD says. And if you're watching this, JD, we completely understand. And you Absolutely. said the same thing. So, you know, there's the, there's the two schools of thought, but I think eventually he's going to play first grade and he's going to be a good first grade footballer, that young fella. I agree with you on, on all those points. So yeah, I think yeah. he's going to be there for us. And, and you're right. I mean, look, today, getting back to first grade, it's absolutely must win. We, we've got to win. Uh, we've just got to find a way to get the two points. We've got a bloody tough draw these next few weeks. Yeah. So <laughs> we? we, we've, and that's not to say today's not tough because it'll be tough against the Dogs. Good yeah. Friday. They always rise to the occasion. Um, exactly. So and we, they won 32 nil last week. Exactly right. Even that was only the Titans. And, you know, we, we had this game before the season started, we thought, oh, here's one we're going to get for sure. But, exactly. you know, like, who knows now? Taffy at the back. You've got Liam Knight. 100%. You know, the, it's going to be a big game and hopefully we get the chocolates. Thanks for coming on, mate. Thanks you, for having you, me. You spoke well. You're you. welcome to come on any time you like at halftime. Great half -time to be or here. Come on for a guest call because... Quick, I'm up get, for quick, it. quickly give you a business a, a plug before you go. Bay Audio here in Experts and Amplifon, uh, empowering people to live life at full volume. Jump online, amplifon.com.au. Oh, unreal. You'll definitely, you can come <laughs> on as a co-caller anytime. Thanks, Thanks Rob. guys. Good luck for the second half. See you, mate. Thank you.